Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. You may have noticed there's a growing number of anglers targeting panfish. Once considered a nuisance, species like perch are now highly regarded. And who could argue the immense popularity of crappies? But what of those smaller, less glamorous members of the panfish clan, namely sunfish? While there are seven species in North America, here in Canada, anglers are mainly concerned with bluegills and pumpkin seeds. Though generally regarded as a real pest by those after bigger things, there's an increasing number of anglers secretly enjoying these pugnacious little fish. While most would consider them a pushover, there are times when they can be quite picky and challenging. That's particularly true when it comes to top-end specimens. Witness this world-class pumpkin seed rejecting our bait until a bit of jealousy kicks in. To find these large specimens, look for heavy cover. And don't be shy about working deep into weed beds. Quality panfish baits like mini tubes, minnows, and so on all take fish. Fact is, they will hit much larger items intended for largemouth. Unfortunately, sunfish have had a bad habit of overpopulating and becoming stunted. To remedy the situation, why not exercise a little selective harvest? Love them or hate them, panfish are a fact of life. Though a nuisance to some, there's a growing number of panfish fanatics out there. Little wonder, these small fish are plentiful, willing to bite, and great table fare. It's a simple, basic type of fishing that doesn't always require a boat. Recently, pan fishing has escalated into somewhat of a big game hunt. All things being relative, a 14-inch perch or 9-inch bluegill is an equal trophy to a 6-pound smallmouth. Catching these big slabs, jumbos, and bulls can be a challenge, however. Within each group of panfish, there's an established pecking order. Alpha specimens of all species are highly aggressive and territorial. Use this to your advantage by waving a large reaction bait over their heads, and you'll draw out the boss fish every time. Due to changes in weather and other factors, panfish are known to be picky. Downsizing and working tight to cover can help. When all else fails, offer them the real thing. Dead or alive, they instinctively know when there's genuine meat on the table. It's as if there's an electrical field that surrounds real food. And the same thing applies to certain man-made items. When it comes to big panfish, it always pays to use the best of the best. You can't help but notice the growing number of anglers targeting panfish. Even a few bass pros have been converted. In Canada, it's a toss-up between perch and crappies for popularity. South of the border, bluegills top the list, big time, a sediment that's working its way further north. Without question, Canadian bluegills are plentiful, pugnacious, and pull harder than any other fish their size. At times challenging, it pays to be prepared with a variety of baits. When they become used to you, simply make changes. Like all anglers, bluegill fanatics look for the largest specimens. Size being relative, a 12-inch bluegill is one for the books. Fact is, all of these giants are old males. Referred to as bulls, some become noticeably darker. They also develop a pronounced forehead and shouldered look. As with all trophy fish, they've been around the block and are difficult to fool. What's particularly interesting is that most are taken incidentally while targeting bass with big baits. Novice or expert, the most rewarding method for catching bluegill is fly fishing. One thing is certain, when it comes to enjoying these fish in Canada, there's an unlimited playing field just waiting to be explored.